Free My Fan. It is Valentine in the morning. We're talking about kids that uh, try and correct you when you're trying to help them with their homework. No, Dad, that's what it is. You got the wrong dad. Your dad, I forgot the, uh, the circle. Oh, really? Oh, really? I've got that down. Pi R squared. Is that the area of a circle? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. No, I didn't. I trust you on that. No, I'm good. <laughs> but it's funny, when I'm sitting there trying to help Colin with his homework, you know, it takes me, honestly, a good 45 minutes sometimes to get up to speed on what he's doing. And by that time, it's, half the time he's figured it out anyway, you know what I mean? It's so hard, that stuff. What about you, Brian? Is your kid still correcting your Spanish? Every five seconds. Like, I'll say, for example, I was reading him a story yesterday, and the character's name was Roberto, and he's, no, Rebeto. And it's just like, every oh, word yes. I'm pronouncing wrong. And he's right, that's the, he's trying, sure. and he has surpassed me in that sure. area. And so it's a little bit uh, embarrassing. Do you know I got my wife a, uh, a card from Mother's Day in Spanish? <laughs> she asked me to translate it. It was pretty rough. I wonder if I uh, take a picture and send it to you if on the other side of the break you could try and read it. Or have Mike oh, do God. it. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Your son reads and he's fine. That's fantastic. So if you guys want to text in 31043, does your kid try and correct you when you're helping them with their schoolwork? Text in right now, 31043. Or hop on Facebook, facebook.com slash Valentine in the morning. Valentine in the morning. 1043 My FM. We're staying home and can't go out to see our live music right now. So iHeartRadio is bringing your favorite artists to you in your living room. Tonight at 7, our iHeartRadio Living Room Concert Series. Presented by State Farm. Featuring Brett Eldridge. Oh, half hour performance from his home to yours plus he'll share stories about life in quarantine and honor the heroes working on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic watch at youtube.com slash iHeartRadio tonight at 7. Good things happen when good neighbors work together. It's why State Farm has teamed up with the iHeartRadio Living Room Concert Series in support of COVID-19 relief because now more than ever being a good neighbor means everything. At Macy's, we know small things can make a difference. That's why everyone gets free shipping on orders of $25 or more at Macy's.com. So it's easier to get everything sent right to your door. And it's a great time to stock up and save with an extra 25% off regular sale and clearance prices. That's on top of already great savings on warm weather essentials like sandals, shorts, tops, and tees, and home updates like lighter layers for bedtime, dinnerware for outdoors, and so much more at Macy's.com. Some exclusions apply. See Macy's.com for details. Tough times mean companies are stepping up. iHeartRadio is proud to celebrate the businesses that are making a difference in our community because we're all in this together. Hi, I'm Jack Sinclair, CEO at Sprouts Farmers Market. We want to thank our dedicated team members who work tirelessly to keep shelves well stocked and stores clean so you have a safe place to shop. We're here for you. Sprouts is open daily, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thank you to all the businesses doing their part to make this difficult time a little better for all of us. Are you ready to switch mobile providers? Spectrum Mobile is a better way to mobile. Delivering the fastest overall speeds and the most reliable mobile service coast to coast. And now we're bringing you 5G with faster speeds for an even better mobile experience. And of course, we have the latest 5G phones. Speed, reliability, value. Spectrum Mobile, a better way to mobile. Now with 5G. Visit spectrum.com slash mobile for details and to find a store near you. Tell your Google Assistant to play 104.3 MyFM on iHeartRadio. When you or your child are sick or hurt, feel better faster at HogueUrgentCare.com. This traffic report is sponsored by Lowe's and on the northbound side of the 605 freeway just before we get to Alondra. Unfortunately, there was a fatal crash and the investigation that's going on now is a Sigler with a carpool in three left lanes that are shut down. Your drive is pretty slow as you're coming away from South Street. Once you get past the crash, things look good. Southbound side of the 605 is just barely slowing down as you're coming up on Alondra. On the southbound side of the 101, if you're coming out of Hollywood, just before you get to Benton Way, they're saying there's a brush fire off the side of the roadway. Uh, fire department is on the scene. No lanes are blocked, but there's enough smoke and activity going on that's slowing down your drive southbound as you're coming up onto that. In northbound, you'll see delays as you come off of the 110 freeway. In Santa Ana, southbound side of the 5 freeway at 17th Street, that was an accident with one truck that was left behind. He's still blocking the right lanes. You are seeing delays as you come up on Chapman Avenue. 
Pros, Lowe's is here to help keep business moving forward from bulk quantities of outdoor job supplies to the brands pros trust most when taking on repairs. They have what you need. Plus, their dedica dedicated pro loaders will load you up so you can get back to the job site quickly and safely. Lowe's is open and they're pro ready. Enter traffic. I'm Tony Jordan, 1043, My FM. All right, weather today, clouds and sun off and on, highs in the mid-70s. Jill's got the Hollywood headlines coming up. The 22nd season premiere of Law & Order SVU is going to have a very special guest, and I'll tell you who it could be. Our question is, does your kid correct you when you're trying to do their schoolwork with them? Now that so many of us are, uh, you know, playing teacher, uh, you know, we, uh, we might not know this stuff and they might know more than we do. Brad on the text line said, I was trying to teach my seven-year-old son about the solar system, and he said, you don't know anything. You can't even make cupcakes. <gasps> That's a sick burn. Oh, burn. oh God. That's a good one. Uh, and Pamela, you can text us 31043. Pamela said, my daughter asked me how I had a job if I don't know how to do math. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, good morning, Wendy. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thank you. So your kid corrects you for the homework as well? Yes. I am a high school math teacher. I teach um, pre-calculus. And um, I would try to help my daughter, and I would see where her issue was, and I'd try to help the issue that she was having. And she would say, Mom, I don't need the history of math. I just want to know the answer. Mm -hmm. And so I would tell her, you're asking, <laughs> I'm just going to give you the answer. You have to know how to do it. Like, you have to know how to get to the answer. And then my other daughter, when I would try to help her, she'd say, that's not the way my teacher does it. Uh... Funny story. When I went to her sixth grade teacher conference, it was right at the beginning of Common Core. And so I was having the conference with the three sixth grade teachers because the kids rotated. And um, as soon as our conference about my daughter was over, the teachers pulled out a question about parallelograms and said, okay, we're having an argument about this. And I know you teach math. So can you tell us what the answer is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait, what grade do you teach? What grade? I teach mostly juniors and seniors. So oh, I high school. Teach, um, yeah, for calculus and um, a class called Math Reasoning with Connections, which is really amazing. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so you're able to help those teachers out and, and get them on their... Yeah, their so we had a little tutoring session after the okay. teacher conference, so... So, you know, you'll get a kick out of this then if you are if you love math so much. And I honestly, yeah. I'm a huge history buff. We love history in this house and everything. Uh, but I've really enjoyed getting into math with Colin, and I see it as a challenge. Yeah. I'm sitting there trying to figure out these uh, algebra and pre-algebra problems. And I haven't done this stuff in years, but it's a great, great challenge. But what I did the other yeah. day, I mentioned it on the air, you're going to kick out of this. I was so frustrated with one thing. And I knew the answer, but I wanted to make sure I knew how to get to the answer the right way and the way that would work in the mm -hmm. future. I didn't want to think that I got lucky or something with the answer. So I tried.